Hi guys, Nick Miller here today from Mark Supply Company. Today we have for you a 2015, this is a Cabela's LM50H. So, this tractor is the same as a TYM503. So, parts are available through TYM. We've already checked it out. It is a 15 year model. The only difference between these was these were a green tractor. The TYM is obviously a red tractor. It does have a 50 horsepower Perkins in it. Um, hydrostatic transmission, cab heat air. This tractor is not new, 443 hours, and we'll give you the background on this tractor. The tractor was owned by a small landscape guy who used it in a parking lot to load some anaskid. The bucket had some rust on it. We did clean the bucket up and paint it. The actual rest of the tractor, there's a couple little wee rust spots on the paint. We did touch up. The green paint's all original, but it is not a bad tractor and it doesn't have a lot of hard use. It's not really had anything on the drawbar, the three-point. Factory top link is there, it has two sets of remotes. Listen, this is a 50 horsepower cab tractor that's hydro. It's cab heat air AM FM radio with 443 hours that you're gonna be able to buy in the high 20s somewhere. I haven't even priced it yet. But, you know, a tractor like this, you know, in today's market, you're in the mid to high 30s. So this is an affordable tractor, but yet, yes, you can get parts. They have a woods loader on them. They call this an LD-102. That was their model number uh, through TYM, I would assume. But it is four-wheel drive. It has R4 rubber on it. Rubber is excellent. There's still tits on the tires here in a lot of places. Um, and it is a non-admissions tractor. So understand that. But if you are looking for a cab tractor at a reasonable price, Here's something to take a look at, and actually don't be afraid. It is a nice running working machine. We're gonna start here under the hood. This does have a fold out grill guard. Fold it out, pull the latch on the hood. So we have serviced it. We did get all the filters and serviced it. It uh, new battery. We did get through everything that way. Filters, engine oil, hydro. I did get filters from TYM for the transmission. I was able to do that. No issues at all. Called them up, told them what I had. They're like, yep, no problem. We got it. And they sent it to me. It was actually, you know, rather, rather easy to do. So, um, again, this is a 50 horse Perkins non emissions engine. Um, does start run at work very, very, very well. So, side shields are all on it. The hood's in good shape. Gas struts work. There's a couple spots here where somebody tried to open the hood with the grill guard in place and it did rub the fiberglass there. I want everybody to see that. I want to go ahead. There is a safety pin that goes in this grill guard. I'll stick him back in there before I forget and cause a boo-boo. 72 inch front bucket. Let's get to your quick patch. Again, he left some material in this bucket. It did uh, structurally, there's no issues with the bucket. We did clean it and paint it. It just has some pits on it from that. But you can see the rest of the tractor. Back here, quick attach, it is free. Um, we did not paint anything on it. That is all original paint. Stand legs are there for the loader. We call this a wildlife and uh, management series. It does have a cool paint scheme to it. It really does. Up front, you are going to have, I do believe these are 12165. Uh, 12165 skid steer style tire R4. And in the rear, 16924s, and you can see that in the in the tires. Look, you still have all the little tits are on the tires. They're original to the tractor. In the rear, 540 PTO. They do have a heavy duty draw bar with rear pin. They do have Cat 1 three point hitch. Factory top link is here. Two sets of remotes. All the glass is in the cab. Let me adjust that one work light up. Roof is good. Inside the cab, we'll let you in there. Floor mat, everything here is good. Solid, diff lock, independent brakes. So it has a low, medium, and high range for the hydrostat. Turn the key on here so you can see, 443 hours. Four ways, turn signals, does have AM, FM radio. I don't own the rights to that music so somebody doesn't kick us off. Uh, off YouTube or off, yeah, off YouTube. Cab heat air functions are all up here. Um, blower fan, everything there works. Joystick loader control up and down for your three point. You do have your two sets of remote. Um, actuators right here up and down for your three point. Um, again, four wheel drive in and outs over here also. 
Um, they do have a nice dash, it's tilt wheel, all that kind of stuff. A uh, treadle pedal here on the floor, so nice setup tractor that way. I want to go ahead, we're going to run this tractor around, show you all about it. Uh, we'll turn all the lights on and stuff and um, show you everything works.
well as there it is everything works on the tractor I, there's nothing wrong with it it is not a new tractor um they there are some things on it that's a little different i mean their engineering is good on the cab um it's not you know not like a Kubota or a deer but it is a very affordable tractor it is heavy built in a lot of places such as your front ends your rear ends but it is a 50 horse compact with a cab air conditioning does work um, again it's not a brand new tractor but it is good running working tractor if you're looking for something affordable uh, you want to pull brush hog you want a loader tractor here's something to take a look at it is gets your quick attach 3.8 to 540 pto so if you have any questions 814-658-3066 and it is not all rusted up on the frame transmission housing anything like that so everybody know that we're not hiding anything um, just being very honest so if you have any questions again 814-658-3066 as always thanks for checking out mark supply company have a great day